Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. I want to show you a drone today that impressed me quite a bit. This little guy is by Newbie Drones and it's called the Savage Bee. Now what I think is really cool on this little quad is look at that long neck sticking out with the camera on the end. That makes a big difference when you're filming because you do not get the props in the frame. You can put the forward camera on ultra wide filming at 4K 60 frames per second and no props in the frame. In addition, it's extremely quiet for its size. It's extremely extremely fast for its size and it weighs a way under 250 grams. Newbie Drone says it's tuned so well you will not get jello in the image and there was no jello in my image. If you're wondering about prop size they are 2.5 inches and if I bring it close that's another cool thing with the neck extending. Watch the neck it extends over the props. So with the neck sticking way out the props just go underneath it so that's a pretty neat design now when i received this product there was no information on it all the company told me was that it's very similar to the acro b75 that i did a review on so when i look at the circuit boards yeah they look similar so that means this one just like this one has that G4 processor in it for the flight controller, which is super fast and super efficient. And that's how they get it to tune so well with no jello. And to power this guy, you will need a battery. I used a 550 milliamp hour 2S LiPo battery with an XT30 connector, which hooks in the bottom. You can use a larger battery to get more flight time. And if you want to know how much flight time I received on this tiny little 2S battery, well, you'll have to wait to the end of the video after you watch my flights. So the last thing I want to tell you before I show you the video of my flights and a few other cool things is that the motors are really decent. Reading the KV on the motors, they are 11,420 KV. Now, the reason I say they're pretty cool is because with those props, those motors, it doesn't make that typical drone sound like wee going all over because it's so tiny and squealing all over the place. It's actually pretty quiet. So I think they've got the efficiencies down perfect for lifting this whole system. All right, so I guess I should uh, stop talking and show you my review. Check this out. All right, I'm out in my neighborhood, standing out in the center of my street, and uh, there's nobody up at this hour of the day. Everybody is sleeping, getting ready for work, and uh, the kids are getting ready to go to school. I have the Savage B, and I'm told it's not very loud, so I'm going to fly it on my driveway to see how loud it is. Here we go. Oh, and if it's not super loud, then I'm going to fly it around my neighborhood. See, one person just woke up and started their car. That's good. More people that wake up, more noise there is, the less people will hear this. But I just want to see how loud this is. So let me plug it in. There we go. I don't even think I could hear that. It's so quiet even when you plug it in. Get these antennas to point straight up. There we are. Going up. And uh, that's how loud it is. You know, it's pretty quiet in my neighborhood. I'm going to bring it really close to my mic here. That is pretty quiet. Yeah. Okay. They weren't they weren't kidding when they said it was quiet here. Let me come closer to the camera over there. <gasps> Little camera on the ground. Yeah. I don't know if it's in it. Very easy to fly. Very responsive. And uh, yeah, here we go. Boink boink. <laughs> That's the worst catch ever. All right. So uh, I guess I'll fly it around my neighborhood. Here we go. All right. I've got the Savage Bee in my hand. And I'm going to put it away down here. And they'll just get it to sit flat so the props don't hit the ground on takeoff. As I'm looking down my street, there is nobody around. Oh, I see one car going by. All right. Flight mode acro and. Let's go. Up, 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 up. And there's a car going right down my driveway just as I take off. Did I say driveway? Going down my road just as I take off here. Let's come back. It's very fast. It's very fast. I don't think I could fly this indoors. I'd be smashing into the walls, that's for sure. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Everything's cold out here. It is kind of chilly, so my battery is uh, not doing well. Let's go this way. Nobody's at the bus stop. I'll just go to the end of the road and spin it around here. I don't want to wake anybody up, although this is so quiet, I can't see it waking anybody up, that's for sure. There's the tops of the trees. No bird nests up there. Dive down this way. Very nice, very nice little thing for buzzing around the neighborhood, that's for sure. Okay, let's bring it down low. I'm gonna have to go fly this someplace else. So let me just go slower and slower and slower. The camera's facing up a bit, so when I fly slow, I have to uh, watch out I don't hit the ground. Now, speaking of the ground, I'm just gonna come over and land over here by this snowbank. Over here. Coming down nice. There we are. So from that flight, I can tell this is a very fast drone. I wouldn't fly this indoors. You're probably banging into the walls or the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to go take it someplace more open. So let's go. 
All right, I'm at a different area now. I'm standing on a riverbed that's frozen. However, in the last week we've had unseasonably warm temperatures and everything's melting. There used to be fishing huts out here as far as the eye could see. You've seen it in many of my past videos, but uh, they seem to be gone. At least I only see a few of them. So I'm gonna fly this little guy, my little savage bee out around that area and go uh, explore. Here we go. Now, even though the ice has melted, it is pretty cold out here right now. And my whole cable is all frozen. Temperature right now is about minus five degrees Celsius. So that's, you know, for me, that's pretty warm. All right, let's go see what we can see. So uh, let me just show you where I am. You can see me back here. I am right there, sitting on the tail of my Jeep. Whip around this way and we'll go check out our little fishy. Oh, before I do that, everybody wants to always see these little things. Yeah, little things like this are great for uh, acro flying. No problems there. And coming down to see our fishy. I always visit the fish every time I come out to this area. So uh, there's our fish. You can see some water melting around him. He's looking okay. He probably could be doing better. Here, I'll just come down lower and lower as I rotate around him. There you are. And we go over this way. There used to be ice huts all down here. Look at that, they're all gone. You could see the tire tracks or the grooves in the ice from where uh, cars and trucks would have gone. Of course, everything looks like it's just a road out here, but uh, no, that's, that's ice as far as the eye can see. You can see far out there. If I go way up, you can see it way out there. That, uh, that's where the water starts. All right, so let's come back this way and see what else we can explore. So those ice huts would have been moved back over here someplace. Let's come down. Now, if you're wondering how this flies, this thing flies like a dream. I'm just surprised it's so small. It's so well tuned. Like I am buzzing this everywhere. Now there might be humans awake over here. I'm not really sure. I see a lot of trucks and stuff. These are all the ice huts. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I don't want to freak them out. They wouldn't hear this coming. That's the scary thing. So they wouldn't know to like get out of the way. I did see a guy out ice fishing over here. He walked out onto this ice and he made a little hole in the ice and he was ice fishing. This was yesterday. It was right down here. There's this little hole right there. All right, let's go over here, get over these wires that I always tend to almost hit and come on back to me. Come back over here. Come back this way and through here. So if you want to do exploration with a tiny drone, this is a good one to get. All right, let's go check out another area. All right, I'm at a different location and I have a funny story to tell you about this drone. You see, when I was at the other location, I put the drone in the passenger seat and then I went to pick up my friend for coffee. He got in the Jeep, I forgot it was on the passenger seat. He sat on it, he flattened it, destroyed it, and here's what it looked like after he sat on it. Yeah, I know the video is a little bit out of focus, but uh, yeah, you can see the parts hanging there. So it was pretty much totally destroyed. However, Newbie Drone has this, you know, lifetime supply of canopies and two were in my kit. So I just put another canopy on and I changed one of the props because they do give you extra props. And uh, I think it's all good. We're gonna go take it for a flight now. Here we go, slow flight, arm of the motors. This is about as slow as I can get it going. I'm like holding it back. I'm trying to keep it low to the ground. It's very difficult flying it slow. It wants to really go. Go it slow. Oh, don't fly up and hit me. Don't fly up and hit me. Oh, I got over them. Oh, good. They're not, whoa. So this is what it's like when you put the camera forward. You can actually get it to go a lot slower. I still wouldn't fly it indoors though, no. Uh, I don't know, she's not going straight. Oh well, we'll try it. There we go, made it through. Let's uh, go back to our landing pad and land over here. Coming down, coming down. <laughs> there we go. All right, so you're back to me and I wanna mention a few things. So inside the box, when you order the kit, I believe everybody's gonna receive two additional frames. So because my friend sat on mine and squished it and destroyed the whole thing, I took the frame off, which was in pieces and put another frame on. And this is what the frame looks like. It's just a little thing like this. Reference the battery I use, which is this one. Let me bring it close and show you. So in every flight you saw in that video, this is the battery I was using. It's very tiny. 2S 550 milliamp hour lipo battery. With this battery plugged into the Savage B, I could not exceed 3.5 minutes of flight time. That's why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to get longer flight time, you'll need a larger battery. So this is pretty small to fly this, but it doesn't weigh much. So when you put a very light battery on a drone like this, it's so amazing to fly these things. In that video, the gear I used, just in case you're wondering, I flew it with my ELRS Radio Master Pocket, except I stuck a Beta F 
FPV unit on the back, a nano transmitter in ELRS that is much more powerful, which is the Beta FPV Super G nano transmitter. This thing here, uh, if you don't have one of these, get one. They're so awesome. Put them on any radio you own. Makes everything so much better. And of course, I flew it, as you saw there, with my DJI goggles too, because I have the very expensive DJI 03 system in it. If you have the DJI goggles Integra, it will work as well. And if you have the DJI goggles version 2, it will work as well. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, so I'm going to compare them right now. Someone's going to probably say, hey, what should I get? The Acro B75 or the Savage B? Well, let me tell you the following. For me, the Savage B is the one I would get because I'm experienced in the FPV hobby and I like to fly fast and do a lot of cool things. So this is the one for me. If you're a beginner, get this one. The Acro B75 is perfect for indoor flight and outdoor quick flight, I would say, and as well as acro movements, you know, flips and rolls and all that stuff. It's very good for that. The Savage B is not good for indoor flight. Don't even try it indoors. I'm sure some people will fly it indoors if they have a big indoor house, but it's definitely made for outdoors and you can get quick flight and super fast flight with this baby. It's really good and a lot of acro flying, flips and rolls and all that stuff. Oh, and of course the Acro B75, also good for indoors because it has the prop guards around it. So you won't mark up your walls. Whereas this one bad move into a wall or in your ceiling, you're leaving a mark. And both of them, surprisingly, both of them get about the same flight time. Another thing I should mention about the Acro B75 is that I did do a full review of it. So the link to that full review is below and there's probably a picture of it someplace on the screen here. And speaking of putting links below the video, I will put links below the video to both of these products and you can go check out the prices and see which one is best for you. I have no idea how much the new one costs because as I said, Newbie Drone hasn't sent me any information on this new drone. And I'll also put a link to the Beta FPV Super G Nano Transmitter. Maybe even a link to the Radio Master Pocket. What the heck? Let's go crazy. Let's put a link to the goggles too. Yeah. Oh, and maybe even I'll put a link to the battery. There you go. So what are, whatever. I'll put a whole pile of links below. All Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more drone, helicopter, or RC plane reviews. Until then, I say bye!